welcome back to the Tidy Air Hanger and welcome to my 20,000 subscriber special. And I want to say apologies to those of you out there expecting it to happen a lot sooner. It's my fault I didn't launch a second channel and I told everybody about it. People were upset because of there's a finance channel. You got to talk about politics. They don't like my politics, whatever. But I'm keeping politics out of this channel. This channel is all about vintage 80s properties, some 90s properties. And we talk about the vintage toys. I have that Retro Wednesday. I talk about vintage toys, entire collections. And a lot of people look at my channel as Transformers. I do a lot of Transformers on this channel. But I do everything vintage and modern iterations of those vintage items on this channel. So much fun. Sunday, I consistently have a new... Sh where I talk about, yes, Transformers a lot. But everything else that's out there that's fun from the 80s. And then also on Friday, I do have a Masterpiece Transformer video. Do a lot of reviews in between showsy sends stuff for me to review fantastic a lot and a lot of stuff, stuff i buy some stuff i get some free samples but it's fun to review that and some of the free samples are stuff i would normally would not look at but anyway this video is about you the viewer uh the channel hit twenty thousand. i didn't hit twenty thousand. you guys hit twenty thousand. Twenty thousand of you subscribing to it and i want to thank you for likes subscribes comments down below the interaction in this channel and it's fantastic got a great community of people out here and a lot of fun but these displays are different this is probably the biggest variety of differentiation in displays when i made my first one of these videos i felt like so many were so similar but today i feel like everyone is completely different fantastic displays in here and this is giving back to the viewers and I do this every thousand subs and hopefully the next thousand subs comes way quicker than this last one but anyway uh, let me know what you think about these let's get into looking at these great collections coming up all right so we're gonna get started with Angel's collection here and he's showing a couple of things close up this is the milk of the mold of the MMC mold it's a great mold though and some cool ideas to it but he does great job with backgrounds and very creative. Some of the stuff he did is next level that we're about to see here. But this is the milking of the mold on this figure. Here he's showing some of these Fimbots, this B. And I did the review on the red one, so I've got the red one. But uh, they made the yellow, the red, and he customized extra ones, I guess, to make Ladybug and Glyph. So that's pretty interesting stuff there so got a couple extras to customize and it's a pretty cool figure overall and here we go with a quintesson i think this is a custom quintesson it looks really good but does a lot of really cool custom work not just with figures but with some dioramas and cool looking quintessons here they are in just a ginormous diorama that he is putting together so Really cool stuff and really nice looking team overall. And one of those things, he doesn't want to wait until X Transbots or someone else makes all the Quintessons. Let's go ahead and just uh, make them yourself. Put them in your own display. A lot of fun stuff. We go with Megatron, another. So I, I guess you should look it up, figure out who this other Fembot is here. It's another custom, custom job, custom work. But this is probably the most impressive thing I've seen in a while. And I, I just truly can't put my mind around it. I did show a video of it too, but how big it is, how many of those statues that he's made along the way there, it is it is really cool. This is really cool what he's done. These dioramas showcasing the gargoyles. You got to think, NECA made huge gargoyles. And just the size of this, it's just massive. It's impressive. This is, this got to be like, Two and a half feet, three feet tall? I don't know. This is huge. Very nice. Very detailed. It just looks like you're actually there. It's like a, an actual place. Fantastic. Back to this one here, which uh, this is... This is so big. And it's deep. It is like eight of these statues deep on each side, I believe. I think it's seven or eight or something like that. I think we'll see more. These are Masterpiece Transformers in this. That's how big it is. And it's got lights up top. This is massive. This is amazing and huge this is some different stuff that uh I'm, I'm curious how long it took to make this that is outstanding 
Masterpiece Transformers in there. And they look small in it because this looks like you're some sort of a, a huge kind of steeple. Each one of those, he made each one of those. And two, four, six, eight, I think it's eight deep. That is just massive. We're back to this one here. Now he's showcasing some more of his custom stuff. He did make a custom figure here. Harley Quinn. And uh, did, he didn't show the all modes, but I mean, I've only got so much room for so many pictures to go through it. This is pretty awesome. But uh, great work this go around, Angel. You did fantastic job on these dioramas and these custom figures. Thank you. Rolling into Chris's. Now I got two different Chris's, so it's going to roll from one Chris into another Chris. But here we go with a nice little setup going on with the Transformers. And you can see big ones on, on the top and then in the middle. It's all spaced out. I do like how we can make the use of the bigger figures in the back, smaller figures in the front. All of it sort of makes sense. The lighting in there, and it's, I, I like the lighting in there. It's not like it's overpowering it. And with the lights off, which I don't think I got a light off picture, a picture with the lights out, then it would look magnificent. You know, it's like just enough light that you can see the figures, but not just bright and overpowering. And here's a higher up shot so you can see the stuff on the top shelf better and some of the stuff that's going on up there. Very cool looking, look at that Megatron in gun mode because that's how I like Megatrons, in gun mode and really cool looking setup over there. Nope, there it is, there it is the lights off. That's That looks awesome. So as you can see, it's different colors too and it's not like it's overpowering each one, it's accenting, it's an accent to each shelf and each character and each figure in there which I really like. I, I admit my lighting setup, it just overpowers. It's just like a big bright light. It lights the whole room up. This is, I think, a cooler look when it's an accent like that. Thanks so much, Chris. We're moving into another Chris, so thank you. And I'm not using people's last names because I don't think they want that anyway. Getting into this, this is Chris number two. And he's got an amazing collection too. Really into the statues these days and doing amazing with all of these statues. Really cool stuff. And there's just so many. And I'm gonna just show a couple of shelves. And then I think once we get through those, we're gonna get to the the whole thing. I, I'm, I'm more impressed by the whole picture. But then again, you can't see each one and enjoy each one individually when you look at that. Uh, so I guess we got more statues coming. But this is Chris's collection. Now, he used to have it in kind of a corner, and now it's along one wall. And I think they both look good the way he had it before and the way he has it now. They both look amazing. I so badly want to emulate this with put a G1 box behind Masterpiece Transformers because that looks so awesome. And the homage to the original and the artwork and the packaging. And, of course, it's fun to have the original stuff. But yeah, that looks outstanding. It looks fun. It's like you've got the blend of old and new and it all works together really well in that. I love it, love it, love it. Here's another angle, a little bit further down, more stuff, just looking fantastic. Fantastic job there. Looks outstanding. I just love this, every bit of it, and so much fun. And it looks like there's more room to do a little bit more in the future. There's, there's, this is proof here how much masterpiece that is left to go and he's left the space. That's cool too future planning going on right here okay back to the statues and i kind of just put this in the order that came uh sequential more gray statues now these are getting into bigger ones and i think some of them are like two foot maybe three foot tall here's a shot of this from the from a whole like an angle to see the whole thing looks fantastic both ways well lit up looking outstanding really really liking the setup and then here's the statues for the most part it kind of wraps around in this one room and looking great just well lit looking fantastic overall great job chris excellent excellent collection excellent way to display it and just very top notch very clean very elegant great job now we're getting into i got two pictures from a third chris i believe and i did anyway this is really cool the, the different variations of the sound wave, the blaster, shock waves, uh, seekers, and kind of showing the contrast of this, that is something cool to see. And I believe one of those has got to be the shock wave of the Takara plus on it. And yeah, the plus I think looks way better than the original, but very nice looking overall. Probably, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell from this angle, but maybe one of them's fans toys 
Maybe they're all fan stories. But yeah, they, they do look really good. This is fun to see all the variants lined up. So you can see all the different ones that were made. I think some might have been customized too. And this is something like a work in progress, something that's coming soon. Uh, but this is an Iron Man display with a bunch of Iron Mans. That's a lot. Two, four, six, eight, ten times four. Forty Iron Mans, Iron Men. Very impressive. Very interesting to see more of that, more up close. And probably shows progression. Is this in, in the order of the mark number suits and stuff? That'd be interesting to see. But thanks, Chris, for showing that. So now we're getting into Garrett's collection, and I gotta say that Garrett's collection is a lot of vintage, love it, and I think that we've seen this progress a bit over the years, and it looks fantastic. I personally have trouble displaying G1 stuff to look great, because G1 really wasn't consistent with the scale and all of that, so I think that he's done pretty much the best you can do with putting some larger figures in the back, smaller figures in the front, and then just making sure it's organized and looks neat. And that just looks really good overall. Also love the TurboGrafx-16 up there. I'm a huge TurboGrafx-16 nut. More interested actually in the Turbo Express, the handheld, but love the TurboGrafx-16. I like the obscure, and I guess you could say failed toy lines, or failed toy lines and failed video game lines, but a great looking display overall, fantastic. All right, getting into Gibbs collection. Now he does do some stuff where he's showing just some cool stuff that he's got going on. And it looks like he's got two of the star toys in one in each mode. Doesn't have the tank mode, okay? So that, that would be a third, but they're going a little bit too far there. Showing a few things here with some blasters and having some fun with the blasters in different modes and different uh, chest pieces going on there. That looks pretty cool, pretty good overall. But then we start getting into some displays. Now this is another one, just like we saw earlier with uh, that other Chris picture. This is some alternate versions of these characters. So you see all these characters recolored in something else. Of course, that looks just like an extra prime. Obviously, you can have more than one prime. Then what are you going to do with it if you have a second or third? Well, mix them in with some of these recolored, di diaclone colored figures and stuff like that. Here we go with some big beasts he's got up top. Looking great and... Having Cyclonus and the sweeps with them in the alt mode. And this is something, again, I'm going to point out. You don't see a whole lot of people with their alt modes. That's just not something you see a lot of. Not a lot of people use the alt modes. Display in alt modes. There we go with some cool baddies going on there with the G1. Galvatron back there. This is fan switch repaint. And sound wave, acoustic wave. Looking like it's got the toy deco on them. Great look over here. That looks an awful lot like the X Transbot Cyclonus. Then we got some some Nemesis Prime and I guess uh, well I would say Nemesis Shockwave. It's Sound Blaster, New Sound Wave. We all know that. And if you get one <laughs> New Sound Wave, you you might want to get three. That's just how it goes. Then War of the Big Beasts, big big beasts, and looking great the. The whole thing about this picture is showing that Titan class figures that are city bots, they, it seems like they work very well with legends. You know, if you're the, the on screen counterpart from the cartoon, they are so big in the cartoon that legends figures scale with them very well. And then getting outside of Transformers, I think it kind of bounces around from Transformers and other stuff, but loving this. So added a few more figures, obviously. Some of these I haven't even opened up yet, and I haven't even gotten into those. Uh, slide that repaints, but they look great. This is a fantastic collection. Of course, I love the Super 7, what they've done with it. Beautiful looking shelf. Also right here, uh, we've got the good guys, and we see a Snarf mixed in there, a Willa. So I added some new ones, the uh, Hachiman. Hachiman. Great looking shelf over there, and it's going to continue to look better as more figures are released. And here is another picture looking great. Now, I'm not sure if these are three different shelves, so... Fantastic job going on right here. And then getting into more of the Legends stuff. Now, these look great uh, overall. Zeta for the Superion. Um, it's New Age for the Omega Supreme. And looks like a lot of good stuff going on in here. Fantastic looking setup. And then more of the Legends stuff. Now, this is tiered on kind of a step up basis here with some 
elevation and looking great overall. Fantastic job. Then we've got a good Metroplex and another just shot of just him. We saw the shot of both of them earlier. Seekers galore in the Legend scale and posed really well. Looking like a lot of them are flying in the air, which is kind of what we saw on the show. So that makes a whole lot of sense. But fantastic job right here. And then we got the more of the baddies in this is a uh, I believe new age in the back for the devastator but magic square for the other two and as you can see devastator is just a little bit shorter than the other two because new age runs a little shorter but not too short I think that looks fantastic overall just outstanding looking display all right so we're picking up with some masters of the universe and so he's he's gone in on the masterverse looking fantastic uh, probably the same mindset that I had. So Gibbs probably thinking that missed the boat on classics. So let's jump on the Masterverse. And for the most part, they're doing great. I think the new attorney stuff they're doing is phenomenal. But just look at this. This looks amazing. That looks fantastic. So if you missed out on, on classics, which was the reigning king, these are looking really good. And here we go with the baddies all looking great too. Uh, fantastic. Look at the lighting. Look at how they're... Elevated in the back, give it enough space. There's enough empty space, yet there's not wasted space. Looking good. And here we go with some dinos. Now this is uh, multiple different sets of Dinobots. Like, uh, this, okay, mind blowing. Multiple different sets of Dinobots, and uh, looks like a Grimlock montage at the bottom. And really, really nice looking overall. And then this is future space for future stuff and more stuff to happen, of course. With attorney, attorney is, I, I'm still, my mind's blown that Mattel even made it. I mean, I, I'm shocked, but fantastic. He put his own lights on the eyes and the mouth. Uh, just added that extra feature. Looks outstanding. Great job. Thank you so much, Gib, for putting all your pictures together and sending them in. So getting into Jordan's collection now, he's showing his area where he sits and watches TV. But behind it, he's got a Batmobile. He's got some turtles on the wall. And then he's got some, it's a laser discs, I believe. That are framed so cool looking stuff not everything has to be 100 percent toys just crammed wall to wall floor to ceiling to look great or to appreciate there's other ways to do it and this is definitely something way different and so what it is is basically it's a, a post like a support beam and then built off of that is shelves suspended floating shelves all the way around it which looks interesting and again different Different. I like seeing different stuff. I like seeing creativity going on. Then here it is on another side of this support, which looks really cool. Really good going on right there. We got the Predator at the top. We got some, some uh, Spider-Man stuff going on down there. Spider-Ham. And more of this. I think we're getting a statue domain right here with the Wolverine. All that great stuff. This is another side. I mean, obviously there's four sides of this post. And then we got Popeye and Superman and cool looking stuff like hey where am i gonna put this put it right here and you got a kind of a 3d look as you're going around this now here are some jet fires which look great and so to put everything into perspective the g1 is in the back and everything's built from that g1 looking outstanding so some are bigger some are smaller moving over on that same shelf we've got a an optimus prime montage which is very nice. And as you can see, you've got the biggest one in the front. And they're all built, set up, smaller, going down. And then even in the front with the poses, with the kneeling poses and the Iron Man. Superhero pose going on to make it look, A, it's symmetrical. And B, it just feels right because you've got larger to smaller. Your eye and the visual cues, all the stuff that's going on right there. Now, another kind of a seeker shelf on the left and then you move it well, that looks great by the way and i like that ghost in the back there then you get to the right of it and you've got like a little go box collection and obviously the psych kill dominates psych kill is dominating but you got some of the greatest ones here so when i think about this too when you think about a toy line what do people love the most and you think about go bots what do you love the most like a leader one a psych kill a turbo just the favorites right here and that's looking fantastic 
here we go with another wonderful shelf going on right here with we've got a sound wave in the alt mode uh, blaster is alt mode and just kind of a cool little mix of stuff going on stuff that he likes uh, looking good overall that's a g1 shockwave uh, yeah and mixed in and you know it's a funny thing too because for the longest time i had a g1 shockwave on my masterpiece shelf before we got you know the, the true one but that that figure still holds up today and it still holds up on a masterpiece shelf and this one right here we got the apc toys and ac is what he said ac toys and another great one now the thing about this is look at the diorama he put together and look at what he built and he made the backgrounds and stuff fantastic well, good looking figures i mean just looks amazing and uh i do have a viacon on the way it's silver uh shows he's got it coming to me to take a look at a viacon i don't actually own any viacons yet but it's cool to see this and uh, really good job loving the look Everything you're doing looks great, and I know you're having a whole lot of fun with it. Thank you, Jordan. Now we're getting into Micah's collection, and he did a fantastic job with this. I, I love the glass cases. And again, I'm, I'm emphasizing the differences here, because not everybody's using Detoffs of glass. Not everybody's doing that. And it looks great. And you can have a great-looking display with Detoffs or a great-looking display. You build your own backgrounds. I mean, either way, it can look fantastic. One thing, and I, I keep wanting to ask, but... I believe in these detoffs that there's less dust accumulation when it's behind glass and it's closed, and that's my belief. Anyway, looking really good. Starting on the left here, we do get to see like a video game montage of video game stuff, and are some of those the Lego ones, but still looks really good overall how he's got that set up, some transformers on top. But then the main display of five of these detoffs up the top, we've got what appears to be some G1 stuff, which not enough people give enough love to the G1. I mean, I try to as much as I can. But this actually puts it up top, obviously, number one. And then, of course, getting down into a lot of different great stuff with some Masterpiece. And it looks really good. All these different displays. Not sure how this picture ended up so low res. But I'm going to include it anyway, just kind of give you an idea of the spacing out and how he's got the, the Unicron up top. We've got some bigger bots in the middle and then down below. We've got a whole lot of other stuff going on. But sorry about the... I'm not sure how it got so pixelated. Here's the top shelf showing you all that good G1 goodness that's going on. And then to put them up on the wall back behind there just is a nice touch. So it's not wasted space if there's something going on there. See, the thing is, is that if you've, there's ways to do it. We saw another collection where it puts the boxes behind it and then masterpiece in front. Now this is showing you G1s, but uh, an empty bare wall and the artwork is just so nice. It's, it's so reminiscent, brings you back. Also, this is something else too, something else different. So we've got we've got acrylic cases that are covering the figures that are in a display. And then on top of the acrylic cases, more stuff displayed, making use of the, the space. That's a different way to do it than trying to use sort of some risers, meaning that you'd have to use more space in the front. So you've only got, uh, what's, what's it, 12 inches of deep for this. I'm not exactly sure I don't own one of these uh, these shelves. But this is a creative way to do it without using risers and still using acrylic case. So all about different types of displays. Here we go from a different angle. And you see some uh, legends going on in here. Or you know, really, I'm actually thinking these are some of those uh, early aughts figures that were the, the heroes of Cybertron that are more or less statues. A little bit of movement to them. Still look cool. I've got some. Those are pretty cool to put in there. But kind of to mix it all up. And yeah, it does work with... Yeah, so those aren't legends. Those are Heroes of Cybertron. Cool-looking stuff. And, of course, you, you can't not talk about Fort Max with that big sword. And then, very clean, neat-looking area here to watch TV. Uh, looks like... <laughs> looks like some Tidarium Hanger on that TV. So thank you very much. That's a, it's a nice little shout-out to the Tidarium Hanger. I appreciate that. Fantastic-looking collection. Looking awesome. And the, the whole clean setup... Just, it's so much fun. Then we've got different stuff. Now, that's another thing. I don't want to just feature Transformers all the time. So that's cool to see different things going on right here. We've got some uh, video game stuff of uh, Street Fighter. Uh, we've got some Sonic, other things, Pokemon going on mixed in here. And then here's another one with some Mario, Mega Man, Zelda, all that kind of stuff. Cool looking stuff overall and different. 
I like seeing different things. And this Mario built up here with all of these, and I think these came each individually with the pieces, or he built that whole thing himself, so I'm not sure about that. But I do have some Mario stuff, but not this much. Cool looking display overall. And then we get back to showing a little bit more of the good Masterpiece Collection in those Detoffs, looking fantastic. They might not even be Detoffs. They might be a different company with a different uh, cabinet, but great looking overall. Again, bigger in the back, smaller in the front, looking to where you can see them all well lit, very clean and neat and organized, and what a wonderful looking display. And a little bit more from some other stuff. Again, helmets, heads, all those things, different. Different stuff going on, and... So kind of cool. So you've got all of these primes on the left and some more stuff down below with the mad and all those things. But then it's it's broken up by the, the heads and I, either their helmets are just replica heads, but they look fantastic. And then you get into the rest of the collection. So you're really prime is set aside. And then a better look at this one here that we saw earlier, the beginning to the end. And there's a Lego Voltron on the bottom. So I think a lot of this is Lego stuff. I really do. And it's well lit. So cool, cool, cool overall. And then this is a whole different picture from a whole different area showing just, these are some, actually some of the older figures and combiners. And so it's showing that Micah's either been in the game for a long time or Micah has uh, just retroactively bought up some old ones. But these look really good. My guess has been in the game for a long time. Thank you so much, Micah. You have a great collection, great display. Looks like such a fun space. Thanks for submitting the pictures. Getting into Sam's collection. Now, we've seen Sam do some really cool stuff in the past, and I believe it's the same Sam that, like, rebuilt an entire room from the ground up to be a display room. So, uh, we got some cool stuff to look at in here. And this is combiners. This is, like, a corner here where we have some stuff going on. I'm wondering exactly which Devastator that is. is. Is that a Super 7 Devastator? I'm thinking it is. I don't have it yet, and I've been past for 24 bucks. I don't know why I passed on it, but cool looking stuff going on over here. We've got some dinos. This is an interesting shot, and I wanted to just include this shot. I mean, there's a whole lot of pictures. I didn't include every picture. The thing is that we got the G2s in there, and I'm really liking the G2 stuff, and I just feel like I should catch up on G2 myself, but great looking G2 Grimlock in there and uh, that's is that the fans toys that that's really hard to get nowadays and then Sam's got a picture here with some seekers and uh, is I think they're all fans toys ones so that's that's quite a bit of money right there for those fan toys ones. but is that the fans toys RC showing our love to fans toys then we've got some weathered look to a devastator and Omega Supreme, and I'm believing, I don't know, I, I thought he was in a masterpiece, but I think this is Legend. I do, I do think it's Legend. But mostly because you look at the ship behind it, and uh, that was a Titan class, and Masterpiece would still be much bigger than that to that Titan class ship. Anyway, looking fantastic with the weather looks to him, and New Age is the one that does those weather. They do like six different color variations of theirs. Here is a, an interesting looking prime, just kind of showing the backgrounds, the elements that are put in place, like his foot to the fire pit and all that kind of stuff. Cool looking overall. Then getting into Galvatron sitting on his throne, uh, having the runabout run him up next to him, kneeling, kneel before Zod, but great look and what's going on with right below that throne? Look like they're on the planet of Char. Great stuff. Then here we go with some primes. Now this is uh, Bumblebee movie primes, Nemesis Prime and alt mode. And they look fantastic. Those just look really good. Sam, great collection. Excellent pictures. Uh, I'd love to see more in the future. You're doing a fantastic job with your setup. Now we're getting into Sean's collection. I want to apologize because I had technical difficulties not being able to pick up more of his pictures in a past episode. And he's done a lot of work here. Now I want to point out a few things. He's made this not just a display, but more of an interactive setup. So showing this, he's got the way the table is built and set up. This isn't just table set up, it's also got a surface over it to look very Transformer-ish. And he can walk around it, and there's a lot of battle scene going on. So the way he set it up 
is to be interactive. I'm kind of the way I am with my flag. I can't get to the rest of my flag the way I have it set up in a corner and the way he set this up I mean, very smart. So let's get into looking at what we got going on here. Now he does have on the wall here, just kind of pegged up some mint in the box stuff, modern stuff, and that's cool. It is fun to see that stuff hanging up. And what I'm gonna say is I think that eventually this whole thing's gonna be covered with his favorite boxed items. And that's gonna look really good when it's done. And then looking over here to the corner, another hanging shelf with some more of that stuff. He's wanna include all that to show what he's got going on. Now this is a another angle of what we're gonna look a little closer at, a lot of these pictures here. And uh, around the top, he's just got different scenes going on with different figures and characters, and it's accented behind the main scene. And so on one hand, you could say, like for the display factor, like in my mind, I, I would have had it all up against the wall. That's the way I do things. But he's doing things different. And that's what this, is, this whole episode's about, things that are different. So he can walk back in there and make adjustments to it and adjustments without having to move the whole table and risk things falling over. That's the way he's got it going on. Now, looking at this, I love the backgrounds. I love the way it's set up. Every character is doing something and every character is posed. So something's going on with every character. A, a use of the trailer, which I have trailers for Prime that I don't do anything with. And so that that's really fantastic. Uh, looking in here to, now this is the Hasbro stuff for the most part, I believe. I believe this is, but it, it starts getting hard. When you zoom out, Hasbro's done such a good job that you start to have to second guess. Is that Legends or Masterpiece or Hasbro? Because Hasbro's doing a really good job lately, so gotta point that out. And so with this display, it looks fantastic, phenomenal. With hanging tracks that's flying in the air, all those good elements that are going on. Here we go with the battle, fighting it out with Omega and Devastator and a lot of good things going on. Putting in some rocks for boulders that would would just be naturally showing in the show, which works. I and mean, just stuff you would have seen in the G1 cartoon. And we're talking Super G1 cartoon area here. Season one, season two. Then some Dinobots in the mix. We've got more characters posed, showing different angles of it. Looking fantastic. A lot of fun going on here. And then yet another angle showing more flying figures. Cosmos in the air. Just really nice. Really good. Sexicons on, on the ground. And here we go with yet more different angle, different stuff. So the, the cool thing about this is stuff's also hung from the air flying. Now, I know some people feel uh, different about that, but I think it's cool. I think it's really cool to have some stuff hung in the air in your display flying because A, space, but B, realism. This is how a real battle would be in the show. And another angle, seeing what's going on here. And I'm guessing that, you know, as new figures come in and he swaps them out, that, that he's swapping out the old with the new and maybe even getting ideas for new displays. All right, getting into new displays. We have got this good looking picture that has the pretty much movie 86 scene. That's pretty much what it is. These look so great from Hasbro and what they've done and putting a scene together. And then of course, you've got other characters, recolors of RC and Alita One and stuff like that over there. Here we go, we get to see that. Oh, we actually get to see that. So in a Prime trailer, not Prime, a Rodimus trailer. Rodimus is trailer. And a, some mini bots in there. We got this corner here, and I think the Commander Class version of Skylinks is a great Skylinks, and they're doing really good work. So really good work going over there. Some of the, what's that, the Origins Cybertron version of Bumblebee over on the left. And then again, more of this stuff uh, seen where it's just, it's just all like it's moving, it's flowing. So he's got it where like they're all going in a direction and doing something, maybe something going on over here. We're going this direction. And then here it is again, showing the hung figures in the air, which I still like, I think it's cool. And moving over in that direction, continuing, because there's something going on. Oh, some bad guys over there, yeah. So I've got to take them bad guys out, them seekers and them sweeps. So kind of cool. In a way, it's telling a story away, the way it's set up. And then more different angle, better stuff going on over here. Uh, yeah, looking great, looking great. I think that there's more stuff been added to this since the first pictures he sent, which looks fantastic. As you keep going and keep updating it and making it look better, and that's what it's all about. And then 
Galtron is thrown, doing his thing, and some minions. So, excellent job here, Sean. Thank you so much for sending the pictures. I was glad I'm actually able to show more of your amazing setup. This is uh, Voppy's collection, and I hope I said the name right. I did look it up how to pronounce it, but it looks really cool. Love the clear cases. They're probably not all detoffs or whatever. Well lit, very clean, spaced out, looking good. This is the just a, like a like a family area, just a place to hang out and have some really cool transformers to look at. Now looking at this display, definitely we got the Unicron posed well, some Masterpiece Transformers mixed in the mix. So that looks good. Now, is Unicron to scale? No. Does this look good, the way it's set up, with a Unicron that's just like a, a, a combiner size? Yeah, it looks really good. It fits a movie display very well. Look at that Unicron head up there. That's that's huge. You know, just to say a scale Unicron head would probably be the size of the whole display in reality. That Unicron head still looks amazing. And then the arc lay in there, very neat. And then the poster behind it, that fantastic, fantastic. Look very good. And then going down a little bit more, we've got some fun stuff going on, on that uh, first top shelf there and all kinds of different great stuff. The clear star scream. I'm kind of wondering why I didn't pick a clear star scream up. But you look to the right, we have more stuff. We've got uh, Transformers at the top mixing in a little bit G.I. Joe with the Transformer shelves. With that, it looks fine. See, I kind of feel like there's a lot of spillover between Transformers and G.I. Joe collectors. I really do, because those franchises were so strong at the similar time frame. Very, very good. From the same company, too. Then you get down lower into, on the right side, with the Insecticons and a Baroness and a Bat. Then you get a little bit lower. So cool stuff mixed up into this collection. Really liking it. But the cool effect is what it looks like at night. It's all colorful, and, and it's... So it's not so well lit that it just is the whole room's lit up, but it's enough ambient light to enjoy it. And of course, you can probably see your way around in there, but it's not overpowering. So I think that's the best way to light up display at night. We kill the lights. It just is. It's a nice glow coming from that side of the room. You can see everything in there well, but it's not just super hyper bright. I think that is a fantastic way to light your darkest hour. Thank you so much for showing your collection and. I'm going to end on this. Thank you, everybody, for watching, for liking, subscribing, commenting. I get behind on replies, but I read every comment. And let me know what you think about these wonderful collections that we got to see today. Like and subscribe. Have your hanger out.